What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another tutorial for you and this one is going to be in Vegas Pro 17 and I'm going to be explaining the importance and how I use nesting inside my timelines. A lot of people don't know about nesting but it's been around for a really long time and Vegas does it a little bit different than everywhere else. So with Vegas's version of nesting, it actually creates additional project files that you can edit separately and give out and then just bring back into the project seamlessly. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have Vegas 17 open right here. A little bit about nesting is, it's a feature inside Vegas that allows you to organize and group media into separate timelines. When you nest something, it creates a unique separate project for it. You can seamlessly jump between nests and master tracks without having to restart Vegas, although I believe jumping between the master and the nest is a 17 only feature. Nesting is useful for applying effects to nests as a whole object. Nesting can also allow entire timeline effects to be exclusive to the nested sections. I'm going to drag and drop a few clips onto the timeline so we can go over some examples. So here I have four clips. To easily create a nest, all you do is select as many clips as you want. I'm going to select these last two. And you can either right click and create a nested timeline or use the shortcut Alt C. When you create a nested timeline, if you have not saved your main project, your master project, it's going to prompt you to save that. So I'm going to call this one master timeline. And now you have to save your nest. So this is the nest inside of the master timeline. I'm going to call it nest one. And we are now inside our nest, as you can see in the project at the top left, master timeline nest one. Now, if we want to jump back in the old versions, you just have to close this and reopen the old one. But what you can do now is go down to this little icon at the bottom. It's the open parent timeline. You can either click it or hold alt and press P as in poker on the keyboard. If we select that, it seamlessly jumps back into our master timeline. Now you'll notice your nest, which were these two clips, is now one solid object. That's what a nest does. Now here's some quick can and cannot do's of nesting. You can create a nest of one single piece of media. So I drag this video over here. I just have this one selected. I can create a nest out of it. This one piece of media can be anything. It can be your media generator. It can be an audio track or a video track. You can duplicate nests. So if I want to hold control and drag this and duplicate it, I have made a copy of the nest right here. You can split the nest up and you can even heal the nest even if you jumble around the pieces. I can select this first one, the second one, right click, event heal, and then merges it, even though the nest is now out of place because we split it up. And lastly, you can apply video effects directly to nested projects. So just for something obvious, we'll put auto looks on here so we can see the effect. And we can see this whole thing is blue. One thing to note, if you apply an effect to a nest from the master timeline and you go into that nest, which is your open nested timeline or Alt N, you'll see that the effect is not applied inside the nest. You can mess with this footage normally. But when you jump back out of the nest, you're going to see that the effect is applied. So this is a very useful feature if you're trying to apply an effect to something, but still want to go and edit these things without it lagging your computer up. Now you can have as many nests you want selected, but when you hit this button, it's going to be taking you into the nest that you last selected. You can't enter multiple nests at once. Now you can open up as many nests as you want, but you'll have to go into the folder where they're saved, double click them, and it'll open a new instance of Vegas. But that is a workaround of how you can get multiple nests open at one time. But as for the quick jump to nests, you can only do that with one nest. Now here's a list of things you can't do with nests. You cannot create a nest within a nest. So if I jump into this nest and I want to make a nest out of this, I can't. The option is not there. You can right click and you will not be able to open or create a nested timeline. If you go nestception, it only goes one nest deep. Another thing you cannot do is create a nest out of a piece of media that is not nested and a piece of media that is nested. If we select this, you'll see I'm allowed to create a nest with this button. It lights up. But if I select both of these, this button is no longer lit up. Now let's go over a couple real world examples on why you'd probably want to use some nesting. So I have this footage right here. I'm going to right click, add a new video track. I'm going to go to the top video track, go to my media generators, go down to legacy text, and I'm going to drag some text on here. Now what I'm going to do is make this text move across the screen. But I want to do that, and I want to give it motion blur. Now normally if we wanted to use motion blur, we hit control shift B, and if we add motion blur right here, it's going to affect this video and this text. But what we can do, hold control shift B, get rid of the motion blur panel, and I'm going to click my legacy text. I'm going to make a nest out of it. Call it text. 
and then that throws our text into this nest. So now we want to edit our text. I want to make it fly across the screen. Should be pretty quick. And as we see, there's no motion blur. If we open up our video bus track, right click, insert envelope, motion blur, right click, insert envelope, super sampling, drag it up, drag the motion blur frame amount. We'll see we added some motion blur to it. And then if we jump back out to our master timeline, then we go to this part right here. You'll see we've successfully added motion blur to text over this video using nesting. Now one thing cool about nested timelines, let's go ahead and say we put these two clips into a nest and we're gonna save this as nest markers. Inside this nest, if we go ahead and insert markers and regions and then jump back out to the master timeline, we will see exactly where those markers and regions are on the nested timeline section itself. Another real world example is if you wanna color grade multiple clips at once, you can do that just the same way we did this. We merged two clips into one nest and then added an effect onto this nest. So if you have a bunch of footage from an event, let's just say you have 20 clips of yourself all throughout this event all day long and you want to correctly white balance them and then color grade them, you can throw them all into a nest and then color grade this nest as a whole. Some other real world examples is you can create nests for a section of like intros and outros and then let your editors, if you have multiple editors, work on those intros and outros and then you can still work on the master timeline and split up work evenly like that without having to interfere with each other. There are so many benefits to nesting that if you haven't done this already, I really recommend getting into nesting and trying out and seeing what you can do and what you could accomplish and how much time you can save. And there you have it. You now know the basics and the ins and outs of nesting and how important and how useful it can be. If you didn't know about it before, I'm glad I was able to tell you about it. I know I learned about it much later than I should have. I hope you learned something and if you did, maybe shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. I'm trying to reach my new goal of 20,000 subscribers and I can do that with your help. So be sure to like, comment, share this video around. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see y'all in the next video. And I want to give a shout out to all my supporters, especially my super scrappers, LMC, HPL Gamers, and Old Man Beta.